Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty. When we left off, we had, uh, well, we had run into a threat here, alien vessels and alien space station over here, and, uh, we also have apparently detected a shenanigans-esque, uh, sensory possible malfunction or, uh, actual weird pulsating readings out of nearby stars uh we're going to let our uh our person investigate our uh sir nigel pemberton the second uh scientist investigate these but uh in the meantime we have a new tradition we can start uh i kind of want to say expansion kind of want to i like the idea actually Colony development speed would increase, and then eventually I can start having things work a lot better when it comes to expanding. So, I like that idea. I'm gonna do it. Sounds good to me. Now, uh, on top of that, we're just going to uh, expand Special our empire as much complete. as we can. Ooh, so now we know what it is. Reports of deep space drones in certain cities systems I also learned last episode I can't fucking talk has been investigated the drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves judging by the state of the processing equipment the drones possess powerful mining lasers and make obviously threatening if not outright hostile overtures towards Felinian vessels when approached they may only be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by the Emperor Empire of Felinae. Establish a listening New post. sit rep. Sounds good to me. Wow, that'll take forever, though. <laughs> well, so much for anything I was studying in engineering. Oh, boy. Factions. Wow. Always fun. A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Empire of Felinae. Led by Crown Princess Valentina, Ooh, little shit, <laughs> they call themselves the Alien Tolerance Movement. It, members have been pushing hard for friendly relations with alien species. Well, that would make sense if we met any. So far, all we've seen is ancient drones, but okay. A disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble, but one that approves of the government's actions could prove useful. Another faction, led by scientist Sir Nigel Pemberton II, because of course it is, they call themselves the Loyal Citizenry Group. They've been pushing hard for an extreme centralization of political and military power. So, authoritarian, gotcha. And one led by scientist Manuel Salazar. They call themselves the Operation Battle Cry. These members have been pushing hard for us to assert our military dominance over the rest of the galaxy. So, this is the military one. Okay. Sounds good. I can live with that. Well, nanomechanics is going to have to wait for a while. But uh, here's hoping it gets done quickly. That's 39 months. Ah, it's only 39 months. It won't take forever. <laughs> okay, well, I'll close that up because I don't need to see that all the fucking time. Um, let's... You know what? Put one here first. Another starbase here. And then I'll expand over to here. Sounds good to me. All right. Now I just have to wait. Wait for things to start going my way. Anomaly found. Hmm. Whoa, Jesus. Two of them at once. God damn it. For reasons unknown... Ilya 5 has been enclosed within an impenetrable shield, and the shield is cracking. Uh, okay. 
Okay? A shielded world. Uh, let's research that. But also I'm going to be very concerned about how that goes. Hyamet. Sensors are picking up an unexplained pattern of interference in the Hyamet system. Okay. Well. These might be problems, or they might not. I guess we'll see. Okay. Chort is being analyzed, and we'll see once Science for all Division if it was a sensor a malfunction or not. Genome mapping! Hell yeah. Finally. It got dealt with. Alright, so the next thing I should do... I'm not doing hydroponics farming. Fuck off. That is the most useless, currently, thing I could do. Genetic healthcare or ground defense planning? I want to go with ground defense planning. There are many alien empires who would gladly seize our worlds for themselves. We must be prepared for them should the worst come to pass. Sounds good to me. I'll do that. And let's see how short turns out. It's almost done. Special project complete. That was a noise. On the crew's arrival to Chort, they were able to confirm that their sensors were indeed malfunctioning. The good news is, is that not only were their initial estimates for the star's energy output grossly under understated, Sir Nigel Pemberton II seems to have learned from past mistakes. Failure is just a stepping stone to success. Sir Nigel Pemberton II has gained 200 experience, and Chort has gained additional energy output plus 8. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, sonified science. The ISS Wayfarer crew has succeeded in isolating a signal embedded within the unusual pattern of interference in the Hyamet system. The system, the signal, is a song. A complex sonification of an ancient, rather, an advanced mathematical equation, to be precise, and one that science officer Vivan Dodamani cannot seem to get out of their head. Who or what may have composed the song remains unknown, though its complexity infers an incredible level of technological sophistication regarding subspace harmonics. The signal's... Ah? What the fuck is that word? Geodesics? Okay. The signal's geodesics suggest a point of origin from outside our galaxy. Curious. Well... Have you complete the survey over there? And then we'll bring you back to uh, the Construction complete. other stuff that we were doing. And we're going to have you build mining stations, and then we're going to expand to Rashan, and then call it good. Actually, you know what? You know what? We'll have you expand there too. And we can have all the energy output. Whee! Always good. Whoa. Time loop. Okay, folks. I'll be honest. I've played this game multiple times. Uh, in my own off files where I just goof around and don't really pay attention to stuff. This is brand new to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is brand new. This is something I've never seen before. I am interested. <laughs> okay. Ilya 5 is burning up. The planet is enclosed in a shield that is capturing Ilya's radiation, heating it to what will soon be uninhabitable temperatures. In the scorching heat, an advanced civilization of tiny squamet reptilians... I don't know what squamet means, but whatever... Uh, scurry about in frenzied activity. Some events of great magnitude seems to be in the works. Yet, as tension peaks, time stops without warning, then stretches and morphs until, impossibly, the reptilians are back to where they started. 
They appear to be locked in a time loop and hopeless cycle of fast-forwarded repetition, starting at the birth of their civilization. In mere hours, countless generations can be observed living out their lives, unaware that they have been condemned to certain crispy death. But we have discovered a crack in the shield that could allow us to change their fate. I could be an asshole and just leave them to figure it out themselves. Their fate is their own to decide. I could interrupt the time loop, or I could repair the shield. Someone locked these, the scaled critters up, and probably for good reasons, too. Ooh, I have no idea how this will turn out if I do one or the other. I want to be cautious, but at the same time, I'm interested in what will happen if I let them loose. <laughs> oh, shit. But I am doing, I'm doing Iron, I'm doing Iron Man mode right now. So if anything goes wrong, I'm fucked. Uh... <laughs> God damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, um... Interrupt the time. New sit rep. <laughs> New sit rep, okay. All right. We have prepared a project to interrupt the time loop. All right. Ooh, that got a lot faster than I expected. Um, that's not Hyamit that's doing that. It was... There we go. That's what I want. Do that. And once they get started on it, I can then get them set up on exploration. There we go. Beautiful. Hey, I've leveled up. Nice. Special project complete. Huh. The good news is we have broken the time loop on Gish. The bad news is that its inhabitants are not pleased to see us. The time loop, which was caused by an artificial singularity field that curved space and time within the shield, was set to deactivate on an unknown but very specific change in the lizard's behavior. Our scientists believe it may have had something to do with their penchant for violence. Upon disabling the field, the lizards reacted with immediate aggression to our presence. They then got to quick work on the shield, blasting it to bits within hours. So that was a mistake. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. 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 We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Ilya system. These strange objects have been flagged as Pricky Key T. Pricky Key T. Until we can learn more about them. Okay. Oh! Pricky T. Pricky Key T. Is now its own little empire. Okay. Science Division can reports we talk a new to them? breakthrough. Oh no! They hate me. They hate everyone. Oh no! Uh oh. Well, at least they're in the beginning of their life cycle. Huh. Purity Order. Fanatical Purifiers. They're fanatically xenophobic and also militarist. 
I will never understand how it is that the creatures such as you came to be, beast, let alone made it into space. Wow. Well, um, if they hate me that much, and they are fanatical purifiers, I say it is in our best interest to wipe them the fuck out. I don't think the galaxy will disagree with me either. So, uh, yeah. Quantum theory. Exploring the mediation of fundamental forces through subatomic particles. And now we move on to fusion power. I like the idea of that. Nuclear fusion processes generate nuclear fusion, rather. <laughs> Nuclear fusion processes generate a great amount of power for ships, but without many of the risks associated with fission power. I'll take it. Good idea to me. Let us bring... our fleet within reach of the planet. And... since you want to be a shit-ass, we're going to end your threat with containment... Standing by to commence offensive operations. And we're going to annihilate you to bits. Goodbye, Gish. I'm sorry it couldn't have been in a different way. But we cannot risk any further shenanigans with you. Anomaly found. Our science officer has found an anomaly. It will require extensive probing, but could garner a substantial find. Sounds good to me. At last, this war will be, be, be the beginning of the end for your pitiful nation, felon. Well, um... You say that. I'm just gonna end your threat, honestly. While you're still weak. Whoa, wait a minute. It says they're... I must be losing my mind. Because it said they had a fucking very strong... Uh, shipyard here, but they don't. I'm also noticing planetary modifiers. Population expelled. As a drastic measure to reduce overcrowding, a large segment of this world's population was recently forcibly expelled. Huh. Wow. They have quite a lot of shit going on. Huh. Well, it's a bit of a problem, ain't it? Let's get this started on another... Not that direction, you doofus. This direction. Thank you. Alright, look at... Huh. The planet Hyamit 4 is the home of a marvel of nature. Giant colorful explosions appear in the sky, a result of the chemical composition of the atmosphere reacting to the sun's gamma rays. Students and scientists alike are spreading this find like a wildfire. It has generated quite the spark of interest for the scientific field amongst our people. Ooh. I'll take that. Sounds good to me. It's like every time I look over here, it looks like they have a fully upgraded star base, but they do not. At least not that I'm aware of. Oh my god, they do! Oh my gods, they do. Fleet action underway. System reconnaissance oh, completed. Oh no, I just sent my fleet to their deaths. Well. Wowzers. Um... Uh, 
I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. Ooh. I am not surrendering. <laughs> they will not take my fucking... No. No, 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 no. But I will probably have to settle for a status quo. <laughs> Eventually. Oh no. They are a lot stronger than I thought they were. Oh. System reconnaissance completed. Boy. Oh no. <laughs> This might be the beginning of the end. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well. We'll see how it goes, won't we? Yeah, yeah we will. Okay, all right. <laughs> Oh uh, boy, okay. They're returning. I will reinforce the fleet as far as it'll let me. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm going to put an outpost here. Ooh, volatile moats. Nice. I kind of skipped through that. I apologize. Um, <laughs> uh, can I load back to my less? <laughs> I can. But, uh... Oh, no. It was from last month. <laughs> Not going to help me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. I'm going to die. <laughs> Welp, I learned my lesson now. That's not the good way to go. System reconnaissance completed. Others. Okay. Um, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build another uh, construction ship. Okay. I have discovered some form of alien vessels in the Minox system. These strange objects have been flagged as gamma aliens until we learn more about them. Uh. I ended up skipping past volatile moats. Volatile moats are a strategic resource that allow me to uh, do a lot of things. They are apparently tasty and explosive. So uh, there's that. But uh, yeah, I system reconnaissance completed. Kinda stressed, and I kind of skipped through that without thinking. I apologize. But, uh, wowzers. <laughs> Recruitment of armies is complete. Did I only ask for seven? I guess I only asked for seven. Come on. Let me do one more. Jesus. Anomaly found. Oh, Jesus. Didn't mean to skip that so quickly either. We have detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this planet. What manner of organism could possibly live there? Well, we'll find out in a second. 
in the meantime, I'll look into Felon Day because I needed to look at some things going on that aren't our imminent demise. But, I mean, that could happen anyway, shouldn't it? Uh, bye. Okay. Um, do another one of those. Build another one of these. Yeah. Special project complete. Hmm. The drones and their tireless, endless work of extracting ever-diminishing resources from their local planetoids make for a somewhat dull but nevertheless informative subject of study. In fact, mining networks on Felonday could stand to learn a thing or two about maximizing mineral extraction rates while conserving energy. Additionally, we have found that the drones are not completely silent. They emit signal pings, though extremely infrequently and at a wavelength hard to isolate from background noise. If there's anyone left to receive these pings, it may be a mystery for another time. Huh. I could go that way to make it easier to destroy them, or I could just take the additional modifier which is good for the long term. Let's go for the long term. Construction complete. Beautiful. And in the meantime, let's have them working on resources here and here and inevitably there. But uh, for right now, we're waiting on that one. Ooh, some kind of burrowing, silicon-based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Aresta IV. As best as we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there is evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Hmm. Interesting. All right. More fleets have been recruited. Science division reports a new breakthrough. I'm just going to move them to the uh, shipyard, so that way they take up less energy just sitting there. Oh, oh, but oh, missed that. Apparently, we completed the nanomechanics. Finally, how about that? Uh, what should we work on next? Improved Corvette hulls, because boy, we're going to need it. Uh, advances in building techniques will allow for the construction of sturdier and more durable corvettes. Because fuck, will we need it? Holy fuck. System reconnaissance completed. Yeah, how about that? Wahoo. Okay. I am a Oh, great. They're already expanding their empire. Fuck me. Oh, great. Thank you ever so much whispers and rumors concerning possible ties to organized crime have surrounded governor william stark for some time now the governor has dismissed these claims as malicious libel invented by political rivals but recent evidence suggests there may be more to it than that great and it's raising the criminality on the planet great thank you why is it always the intellectual ones that have that problem? Why is it always them? <sighs> Fuck it. Anja Schultz, you're in. And William Stark, you fired. Alright. Okay. Get that fuck out of here. All Science right. division and reports and criminal new bullshit. It's bad enough I have to deal with that in my real fucking life. Okay. Now, what do I look at? Oh, a lot of things are requiring more fucking, more fucking stuff. Uh. Fleet support, space combat. Mm. Let's go with fleet support. 
As extrasolar expeditions become more common, it is important to provide planet-side relief for returning fleets. Hell yeah. System reconnaissance completed. Adds additional naval capacity, which we desperately need right now. Oh boy. I can't let them expand too far out. As it is, it's bad enough complete. that they have what they do. Ooh. That beeping's gonna get annoying. Let me finish out this real quick. An ancient space station of some kind has been located at the edge of the Netum system. A strong residual subspace signature that surrounds the station indicates that it may be a gateway of sorts, part of a theoretical network of similar stations that at some point would have allowed for near instantaneous travel between different parts of the galaxy. So like the uh, Mass Effect relays. Okay, fair enough. Assuming these, this is a gateway, its current state of disrepair has rendered it unusable. If it could be restored into working order, its owner would potentially be able to access any other functioning gateways in the galaxy, enabling travel across huge distances in a matter of days. Alrighty. And an enemy science ship is already here. Great. Fantastic. Well, I'm not letting it get any further next to me. That's for damn sure. Get rid of you. Take that. Okay. Alrighty. I made a mistake letting them out of their shielded little cage. Tracking enemy fleet. Oh, great. Oh, great. Station reports enemy contact. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fantastic. I'm in trouble. The Poo's Jock Commissariat. We are receiving a transmission from them. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. Oh, okay. Hegemonic Imperialists. Fair enough. I represent the Pozjok Commissariat. Our elected leader, Commissary General Merck, daughter of Skeg, hopes for peaceful relations with your people, but know that we are more than capable of defending our way of life. Hell yeah! As fellow Star Explorers, we salute you! Finally! Someone who doesn't want to kill me. <laughs> The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time is spreading like wildfire throughout the Empire of Felinae. Our citizens are fascinated by these beings, and the media is full of reports and speculation on their culture and society. The revelation that we are not alone in this galaxy has largely been greeted with celebration on Felinae. Just like us, the aliens appear to be relative newcomers on the galactic stage, and their level of technology is similar to our own. This is a momentous occasion. Hopefully, we don't die. <laughs> I'm hoping we don't die. Alright. Well, at this point, I have no choice. Uh, reinforce as far as it'll let me. I can't afford to force it. System reconnaissance completed. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to skip that, but we're gonna die anyway. What am I thinking? Ah, uh, fuck. That's right. It's a fanatic purifier. It'll just take anything I'm doing and it'll just... <laughs> well, I've done it now. I've done it now. There's not even any point in fighting. It's not going... I'm not gonna win. I'm not gonna win. They were too advanced. They're too advanced. I cannot fight back. I fucked it. I fucked it all. I fucked away it all. Sensors are... Fuck it. You know what? I throw in the towel on this one. I throw it in. I lost. I know I've lost. Fair and square. I'm done. I done fucked it. I did one little bit more than I should have. That thing I have never run into before. Choosing it was a bad idea. 
Choosing the way I did was a bad idea. There's no way I can win this. There's no way. It's over. The size of the fleet they had coming in is tr three times what my current fleet is. There's no way I can win. It's over. This particular run of the Empire of Felinae is done. <sighs> I'm going to give a proper song choice for this current issue that has now popped up. That does that. And there goes the audio for the end of the game. I fucking I'm done. I'm done. I throw in the towel. I have ended. I'm putting my headset down for both my computer and for the game. I I cannot win. I cannot win. This is the end. I apologize. But anyway, this is not the end of Stellaris, the playthrough. Not by any stretch. But this is the end of this current attempt. <sighs> well, I made a fucky wucky. We will take this and learn from it. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next video. And the next time we have a go around trying to be a successful empire. But this one, this go around is dead. This go around is gone short-lived this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and losing my empire in a foolish jump thinking that we could possibly save civilization from a horrible fate just to find out it was a fate necessary to keep them from being a danger to society of all galaxies and the first fatality in its path is mine on to the next one for you